There's a fine line between aggressiveness and recklessness when it comes to playing quarterback, and nobody likes to walk on that line more than Josh Allen. His gunslinger play style results in a slightly higher interception rate than most of the league's top quarterbacks, but also some of the most jaw-dropping throws you'll ever see. The broadcast angle just doesn't capture the brilliance of Josh Allen's right arm. So this week, I watch every throw he's made this season, and today I'll take you through the 10 that I think are his best of the year, starting with this one on a third down back in week 12 against Philadelphia. Pre-snap, the Eagles show a double mug look with man coverage behind it. The man call is confirmed when Stefan Diggs goes in motion and is shadowed by Eagles cornerback Darius Slay. Joe Brady's answer to this man-free look from the defense is quick inside breaking routes from all three receivers lined up to Allen's right. To account for all six defenders on the line of scrimmage, Buffalo puts Latavius Murray in a sniffer alignment, which gives the offense even numbers in pass protection. But by the time Allen reaches the top of his dropback, none of his receivers have enough separation to be targeted, and two pass rushers are closing in from opposite sides. To his right, Hassan Reddick torches Spencer Brown and to his left, Jalen Carter does the same to Connor McGovern. As the rush closes in, Allen makes both Reddick and Carter miss by stepping up, and hits Diggs as he redirects toward the sideline. There was no room for Allen to set his feet in what remained of the pocket here, but he still delivered a perfect ball to convert on third down. Number 9 is this rocket from back in week 4 against Miami. The Dolphins sent a six-man blitz with man coverage behind it from this ambiguous pre-snap look, and the offense made a half-slide protection call to the right. Usually when you see a defender in the B-gap covering the guard on the man side of a half-slide call, the guard will be responsible for that defender. But here, the guard is included in the slide. I'm not totally sure why the guard slides here, my best guess is that the offense didn't consider the guard to be covered because the defender was walked up in a two-point stance. Either way, when that B-gap defender rushes, James Cook is forced to pick him up. Now, Allen knows that he has digs on an 18-yard comeback to his left, so instead of abandoning structure, he keeps the play alive by shuffling to his left before hitting digs on the sideline. From the All-22 angle, you can see how great Allen's timing was here. He began his throwing motion before Diggs broke back to the ball, and despite the inability to set his feet, he put it right on his receiver's number. At number 8, I have this first down from late in Buffalo's Week 7 game against New England. Pre-snap, the Patriots show a clear cover zero look with no deep safety and eight defenders in the box. Even with Dalton Kincaid and Latavius Murray in pass protection, the defense still has an 8-on-7 numbers advantage up front, so someone is getting in unblocked. Buffalo's solution to this zero look is to be extraordinarily aggressive by calling a vertical route concept. Allen wants to target Stefan Diggs on this post route, but doing so against this blitz requires absolutely perfect timing. He has to wait for Diggs to break inside, but he also has to get the ball out before the free runner can get to him. Allen's anticipation here, knowing he's going to get hit hard from his blind side, is insane. He was hit as he threw, and still threw a perfectly placed bullet right into his receiver's hands. Number 7 came in a do-or-die situation back in Week 5 against Jacksonville. The Jaguars called a soft Tampa 2 coverage, and the Bills went with a simple verticals concept. The inside slant from Trayvon Walker on the edge allowed Allen to break contain before even reaching the top of his dropback, and he rifled this one to Gabe Davis on the move. You might notice that Jaguars cornerback Darius Williams got caught off guard by this throw. And that's because Allen wasn't looking at Davis. From the tight angle, you can see that his eyes were glued to Deontay Hardy until he began his throwing motion. That eye manipulation, along with the placement of this ball, gave Davis a huge advantage over Williams in the battle at the catch point. Next up is this beauty from two weeks earlier against Washington. It's 3rd and 8, and the Commanders are showing cover 0 against an empty backfield. Both Dawson Knox and Latavius Murray are assigned to check in protection before running routes, which prevents a free runner, delaying Washington's blitz. Allen wants Diggs all the way on this stop route, but Montez Sweat's massive frame is in the throwing lane, which forces Allen to extend. Fading away from the line of scrimmage, with the rush closing in, Allen delivers a perfect ball to Diggs deep downfield outside of structure. From the tight angle, you can see how insane the placement of this ball was. He threw it just before Sweat could get to him, and placed it just inches away from the defensive back's outstretched arm. In fifth place is this chaotic, gotta have it third down from last week against the Chargers. LA's pre-snap structure indicates a somewhat ambiguous cover zero look. Both safeties are deeper than they would be in a typical zero look, but they're also both capping the apex defenders. 
meaning they're lined up directly behind those defenders in line with each of the number two receivers. This usually means that the cap defender is blitzing, which would make this an all-out zero blitz. Allen knows what he's seeing, and his counter is to target James Cook hot. He doesn't call for any extra protection because he knows that when Derwin James rushes, Cook is going to be free in the flat. But Derwin had a counter of his own. When he saw Cook leave the backfield, he slammed on the brakes to take the hot read away. At this point, the play is dead. You've got free runners coming from every direction, you've got defensive linemen falling back into the low hook, and you absolutely cannot take a sack. For everyone in the world not named Josh Allen, the only option here is to throw the ball away. But somehow, he sees the two defensive backs trying to cover this downfield switch concept get caught in traffic, and finds Khalil Shakir's back shoulder while fading away. It feels like a crime to put this in the number 5 spot, because I think you could make a solid argument for this being the throw of the year. And that's how good these last four are. Number 4 is this classic ball don't lie moment in week 12 against Philadelphia, following the ref show at the end of the first half. Buffalo went empty and got a zone coverage identifier with James Cook out wide matched up with a cornerback. The key route combination here is a drive concept between Diggs and Shakir. It's designed to vertically stretch the Will linebacker into a bind, and it works as it was intended. The Will took the high read and left Shakir open underneath. You might want Allen to hit Shakir here, but it's important to understand the situation. There are less than 20 seconds left in the half, and Buffalo only has one timeout. So if Allen hits Shakir, they only get one more chance to score before the half. Instead of taking that chance, Allen takes the high read by hitting Diggs in the end zone. From the tight angle, you can see how perfect this throw was in every way. If he throws it any earlier, Zach Cunningham has a chance to make a play on it. Any later, Reed Blankenship makes a play on it. If the ball is placed any lower, it's in the turf. And if it's any higher, Kevin Byard has a chance to contest it. I know I've used the term perfect to describe a lot of these throws, but this one truly could not have been any better. At number 3, I have this anxiety-inducing mess of a play from Buffalo's Week 14 game against Kansas City. On 3rd and 9, Kansas City called man-free cover 1 and Buffalo called a concept known as Sal X Dig, which is exactly what it sounds like. A Sal concept on the three receiver side and a dig from the isolated X receiver. The protection call is a half slide to the offense's right, and just like on the play I showed you earlier against Miami, the back is responsible for the B-gap defender on the man side of the call. Kansas City made a great TE stunt call here, which told number 54, Leo Chanel, to penetrate, and number 90, Charles Amenahu, to loop. With his eyes locked on Amenahu, Deion Dawkins was caught off guard by the stunt call, and allowed Chanel to break into the pocket before Allen could set his feet. From the All-22 angle, you can see how dead this play looked when Allen left the pocket. He was under pressure before the concept could develop, and every route was breaking in the opposite direction. The running back, Latavius Murray, who was initially kept in to protect, worked upfield as Allen inched closer to the sideline. And somehow, Allen kept this alive for just long enough to give Murray a chance while taking a hit as he fell out of bounds. Of course, the play had to end with Murray dropping the football before he was touched, because the Josh Allen experience can't just end with Josh Allen. At the number two spot, I have this dot from all the way back in week two against Vegas. The Raiders called man-free cover one and brought Robert Spillane as the fifth rusher. Post-snap, Max Crosby torches Spencer Brown out wide, and Spillane gets in free. When he feels the pressure, Allen wants to scramble because he knows that he isn't accounted for against man coverage. But in an effort to pick the free runner up, Osiris Torrance abandons his assignment, and the lane that Allen wanted to exploit is no longer there. So instead of running into a sack, he slams on the brakes and puts the ball right on Khalil Shakir while fading away. The placement was perfect under heavy pressure, and Shakir took it across the goal line for six. And finally, the number one spot belongs to Allen's game-winning touchdown pass to Quinton Morris in week six against the Giants. It's second down in the red zone, and Buffalo gets a pre-snap man identifier by putting Morris on the outside. The defender lined up opposite Morris is Giants safety Dane Belton, and when a safety lines up out wide opposite a tight end, the defense is almost always in man coverage. In response to the man ID, Buffalo called a rub concept between Morris and Dawson Knox. Morris is coached to create traffic among the man defenders, allowing Knox to get open in the flat. But Xavier McKinney does a nice job of navigating through that traffic by working over the top of the rub route. Allen knows that a quick throw to Knox isn't likely to generate a positive play, so he checks off in favor of the backside. Leonard Williams beats Deion Dawkins before Stefan Diggs separates over the middle, which forces Allen to abandon structure. 
While rolling right, he throws a pinpoint accurate bullet to Morris in a tight window, but you really need to see the tight angle to appreciate the insanity of this throw. Attempting to fit this ball in between the man defender and the post safety is psychotic, and doing so late in the fourth quarter of a close game makes this Josh Allen's best throw of the 2023 season. Allen might throw a few more picks than the next guy, but I promise you nobody else's top 10 throws even come close to these. That doesn't necessarily make him the best quarterback in this league, but it does make him the most entertaining. In a couple weeks, I'm sure I'll be regretting this video because Allen is almost guaranteed to make a new throw of the year before the season ends. I just couldn't wait another week to share these beautiful football plays with you guys. But that's all I've got for today, so until next time, peace.